Hey everyone, welcome to the Luminant IS Academy. So this is our next part of our current affairs series in which we are practicing IS prelims quiz. So let's practice. Our first question is which of the following are nodal, loaning and type T's which is an LE's to provide concessional finance under the Fisheries and Aquaculture Development Fund which is FIDF. First one is NABAD, second National Cooperatives Development Corporation and CDC, third Scheduled Banks. Uh, so giving you 5 seconds, please try to attempt it. This is an important question. So our answer is D. All. All statements are correct. So let's know more about it. <clears throat> Under Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairying, a dedicated fund has been created namely the Fisheries and Aquaculture Infrastructure Development Fund with a total of rupees 75, 22.48 crore to address the infrastructure requirement for fisheries sector. So FIDF is like a fund for fisheries and aquaculture infrastructure. FIDF provides concessional finance to the eligible entities like cooperatives, individuals and entrepreneurs for development of identified fisheries infrastructure. So this is for identify. The National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development which is NABARD, National Cooperative Development Corporation which is NCDC and all scheduled banks are nodal loaning entities which means these are main entities to provide concessional finance under the FIDF. So these banks and entities will provide the finance, will finance the fisheries and infrastructure. So the, uh, the Department of Fisheries under the FIDF provides interest subvention up to 3% per annum. So there would be an interest too which would be 3% providing the concessional finance by the NLEs at the interest rate not lower than 5% per annum. And the uh, one criteria is it shouldn't be less than 5% per annum. Next is, which of the following statement are correct regarding Vande Bharat Express? First, it is India's first engine-less train. Second, it was designed and built by Integral Coach Factory, ICF at Kochi. So, it is also an important question. You must try it. So, our answer is one only. It's A. Because it is designed and built in Chennai, which is Parambur, not in Kochi. And it has known as Train 18. It is an uh, Indian semi-high speed intercity electric multiple unit. And uh, under the Indian government's Make in India initiative over a span of 18 months. And it is the India's first engineless train till date. Trains of India have a separate engine coach while Train 18 has integrated engine like bullet or metro train. So this is a unique feature which make it a different from others that it has an integrated engine like bullet or metro train. The next question is which of the following statements are correct regarding National Green Corps which is NGC Eco Club program. First is National Green Corps NGC Eco Club program aims at promoting CSR funding from corporates towards environmental conservation. Second, it was initiated by Ministry of Corporate Affairs. So, our answer is T. None of this statement is correct because National Green Corps which is Eco Club program was initiated in 2001-2002 under Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. 
Its objective is to impart knowledge to school children through hands-on experience about their immediate environment, interaction within it, and the problems therein. So, and the program aims to include, incul inculcate proper attitude towards environment and sensitize children on issues related to environment and development. So, overall, if we see it, so this is for the environment, safety, and their development. Next question is. QRSAM is a uh, scorpion, submarine, long endurance, drone, all weather and all, terrain missile, anti-tank missile. Yes, it was in news. And we must know about it. So the next question, uh, our answer is, C, it's all weather and all, terrain missile. Next question is, uh, some more information about QRSM is, is uh, sophisticated, it is a surface to air missile, is sophisticated all weather and all terrain missile, which is developed by BRDO for Indian Army with search and track on move capability with very short reaction time and QRSM uses solid fuel propellant range which has a range 25 to 30 km. And it can be mounted on a truck and stored in a canister. So that is a unique feature of it which make it different to others. So next question is, which of the following statements are correct regarding Portion Abhiyan? It ensures convergence of various nutrition related schemes, interventions of various ministries, Second Bharatiya Portion Krishi Kosh, which is BPKK, under it is a dedicated fund for better nutritional outcomes. Yes, so uh, please attempt it and write your answer in comment box. So the answer is A. So Portion Abhiyan under WCD Ministry. Ensure convergence of various nutrition related schemes, interventions of various line ministries and it will be a repository of diverse crops across 128 agroclimatic zones. So, it, uh, so there are some zones which are uh, divided under it which is known as 128 agroclimatic zone in India for better nutritional outcomes. Uh, so these were our five questions and we have started a December current affair quiz series. I hope you, got, uh, you guys are trying it. These are so important. If you are really serious about UPSC and state exam, even other exams and you are practicing your current affairs, then you must solve these questions. So you can cover up your current affairs by these questions. Okay guys, if you like it, please like, subscribe and share it. Thank you so much.